All right, we're looking at question number three, which is on the exam paper. And this is a cost, volume, profit question. So we're talking about break-evens, we're talking about uh, margins of safety and so on. So we've got hospital care proprietary limited manufactures and sells one product, which is a protein drink. The following data relates to the 2017 listed below. And we've got some, uh, we've got some selling, we've got a selling price, we've got some costs per bottle, um, we've got some fixed um, manufacturing and non-manufacturing amounts. And it says here, calculate how many protein drinks and bottles and total sales dollars have to be sold in order to reach the break-even point of 2017. Okay, so what do we do, our break-even? First of all, first thing we need to calculate is a contribution margin. And my contribution margin, let's put Q3 up here. Um, my contribution margin equals my selling price minus my variable costs. So let's have a look what we've got here. My selling price, okay, that's my selling price there, so that's my first piece of information. Sales staff's commission per bottle, so that'll be a variable cost. We've got direct material, so that must be the water that's in the bottle, so that's a variable cost. And we've got fixed costs and fixed costs there as well. So I know that my contribution now will be seven, which is that figure there, minus one, minus two. So my contribution margin is four. Now, to calculate break-even in quantity, uh, we're talking about bottles here, break even, my break-even equals my fixed cost divided by my contribution margin. Now, my fixed cost are 36 and 24,000, so that comes together to be 36, that's zero, uh, $60,000. So my break even equals 60,000 divided by 4 equals 15,000 bottles. So that cat ticks off that one. It also says in total sales dollars. Now there's two ways you can do this. We know what my selling price is uh, $7 per bottle. So option one, we can go selling price. times break-even quantity. So that means $7 times 15,000 bottles. And that equals, okay, lean over and grab my calculator, 7 times 15 equals 105,000. The second alternative we can use by doing it by contribution margin or contribution margin ratio. And the contribution margin ratio equals my contribution margin divided by my selling price. So that equals 4, which was calculated our contribution margin before, divided by my selling price, which was 7. And I get 4, let's try that again, 4 divided by 7 equals 0 0.57143. All right. Now, uh, that gives me my contribution margin. So now if I want to do it by dollars, it is fixed costs divided by contribution margin ratio. So I got my fixed cost. We worked out my fixed cost to be $60,000. Divided by... Uh, 0 0.57143 and that should come back to very close to 60,000 divided by 0 0.57143 equals 104, I'm going to make that 105,000 because it's at 73. So there's two ways to calculate that and that's part A done. Now it says how much annual profit will be made if 20,000 bottles were manufactured. So um, now we'll do part B. How many, uh, so if we have 20,000 bottles, so my profit equals my gross contribution margin minus fixed costs. So my gross contribution margin would be 20,000 
being the 20,000 bottles here, times my contribution margin, which was $4 per bottle, minus my fixed cost, which was 60,000, which we calculated over here. So it gives me 80,000 minus 60,000 equals $20,000. So it takes care of B. And to calculate the margin of safety of protein drinks and the dollar value. So my margin of safety, so this is C. Equals, break, um, my annual volume, so my annual volume here, which is 100,000 bottles. Minus my break even, which we worked out to be 15,000 bottles. So my margin of safety is 85,000 bottles. Oh, no, it's not, not bottle, dollars, bottles. Now, it says safety in bottles, but also in dollar value. Now, my margin of safety in dollar value, with this is, I'm assuming this is sales dollars. So we just do 85,000 times seven dollars per bottle and let's work that what that out is to work out okay just i'm going to tilt that up so you can see that a little bit more 85 times seven equals five hundred and ninety five thousand dollars that could be the margin of safety So there's my answer. I'll drop my pen down there so it's nice and flat.